offer. Meanwhile, you were the commander of the Seventh Fleet, and we ha have the tragedy of the John uh, S. McCain, uh, with the sailors who are missing, some of them who have perished. You know, what's going on? I mean, we've had four accidents, two collisions in the, in the Seventh Fleet. The uh, commander has been relieved of his duty. What are your thoughts? Well, my thoughts are very simply the Navy has a strong history and is required to have accountability, not just at the immediate uh, air problem, but also uh, at a larger uh, level. And co all commanders are responsible. Now, I don't know the facts with respect to the Seventh Fleet, uh, and I don't know the facts of this investigation yet, uh, but I do believe in strong accountability. It, do you have a gut feeling why this is happening? You've had two collisions, and they've got radar. Some are saying there's been a lack of training, not enough resources, that the lookouts, for example, have been cut back sometimes from three to one. Uh, any specific reasoning why you think this is, has continued to happen? Well, I think there are a number of reasons. Uh, again, this inve these investigations are going to show uh, a lot with respect to the reasons, but also the CNL appropriately had his fleet forces commander uh, undertake a uh, across the board look at what some of these reasons are and more importantly what the fixes are to uh, go after these reasons because they've got to stop. I mean there's got to be confidence in our ships at sea and most importantly there's got to be confidence on the part of our uh, relatives who are sending their sons and daughters and husbands and wives to see that they're uh, being led by competent commanders with ships that are fully serviceable and have uh, appropriate repairs done to them. So again, I think there are a number of reasons here and we've got to attack all those reasons. Well, uh, Admiral uh, Joseph Ockhoin was relieved of duty. Philip Sawyer, a submarine experience, he's uh, uh, taking command and of course, Admiral, our thoughts and our prayers uh, are with the families and those who perished in the past few accidents. One of my son's classmates is serving on the John S. McCain right now uh, and we think of them and thank them.